Hey guys, what's up? Austin Smith here, and this is a review of the Cross Bailey fountain pen. A fountain pen that I probably never would have heard of, and uh, probably wouldn't have gotten if it wasn't given to me as a gift. So I am very thankful for that. There's just a quick overview. Let's look at the box real quick. The, this particular box comes with um, a set of cartridges. It's got just uh, some general information about Cross all sorts of stuff on the inside, if I can get it open. Let's see. It is a gift box. So on the outside it tells you what it is, obviously. Uh, but in here we have, if I, can, if I can do it. Nope, I didn't do it. So, got a gift box. Wow. It's harder than I thought it would be. All right, you've got you've got a gift box that when shut it looks like that. So you've got the nice just cross logo there. It doesn't really give you any information, and of course the uh, instructions would be underneath this, and so the pen would come sitting here uncapped with a box of cartridges. So it comes with six cartridges. They're just cross black cartridges. There's nothing particularly special about them, except for the fact that they say black in a couple different languages. Put that in the box. Here we go. Nothing particularly special about the instructions either. They're just standard fountain pen instructions that if you've used a fountain pen, you don't need. Anyway, that's the packaging. And now we move on to the pen. The pen comes in a couple different colors. This particular one is the blue something or another. I forget what they call it exactly. It's a really nice finish. Of course, I prefer black uh, and silver finish. So I like the silver. I'm not the biggest fan of the blue in the world, but I can. I mean, I don't. I don't dislike it, but it's not probably what I would have picked out for myself. Uh, on the top, we've got something particularly unspectacular. Got the clip. The clip does work fairly well. have the cap which is a bit bulbous. This is generally a design I'm not a fan of. Just the the big cap over this mini barrel, but again, it's not bad. It's a uh, pretty classic design. Man, it's just not focusing today. There we go. This is a bit of, got a bit of texture on it. I don't know if you can hear that or see it. There's just a tiny bit of texture in there. That's really quite nice. Then you have the barrel. The barrel tapers here and has this little uh, stop. It does post. There's no click, which is, eh, doesn't really matter. But it is pretty secure, pretty deep posting. You might end up with a ring up here, though, from posting it, but that's fine. Anyway, get the section here. Nice black. Nice taper. Easy to handle. The nib. Little ornamental cross at the bottom. And uh, hard to guess the size on this one. The M is hidden over here. See if I can get that to focus more. There we go. There's the M, sort of hidden off on the side. I don't know why. Kind of makes it look asymmetrical and strange when you do find it, and it makes it harder to find. I don't know why they did that, but it doesn't really matter. I believe cross pens tend to uh, not have removable nibs and feeds. Uh, that's my belief. I haven't really tested it, so I don't know whether or not that nib and feed comes out. Unscrewing the pen, we have that. Uh, design with the little pegs on the side for the converter. Cartridge goes in there. You can fit a second cartridge in the barrel which appears to be a brass sort of material threaded on there. Anyway, pretty simple. Just push the cartridge in. I have run an entire cartridge through this so we'll uh, see, how, see how it works out. Let's get to the writing. Already writing time. This pen is so, so shiny. I never tend to post in these writing ones, so let's see the quick. We're never quite sure why he does this. I am behind the camera, so be warned. My handwriting is not the best. Anyway. This is the, uh, I forgot to write that down, this is the Cross Bailey 
and the nib is a medium, and the black is of course, or the ink is of course a cross black cartridge that came with it. Uh, you can see the line is a bit thicker than I tend to like. It's a it's a medium. It leans sort of toward broad, although I suppose uh, there's there's quite a few other mediums that are about the same size, but this is another medium. And as you can see, that's quite a bit thinner. It's almost a fine. Um, and once again, another medium. These are the disposable pens. That one's a bit thicker than that one, but a bit thinner than that. I feel like it's a, it's a bit of a sloppy medium. It's closer to broad. Uh, but there's no problems with skipping or reliability for this nib, and there tends to not be the cross ink is uh, pretty dry, but as you can see there, you can put down, put down quite a bit. The nib uh, itself is very, is very smooth. Uh, it's got just a hint of feedback. You can tell it when you're writing with it, and you can hear it just a little bit. Um, it does reverse if you spell the word wrong. Uh, it does do that. However, uh, it is pretty scratchy. You could hear the scratch there. Um, especially if you go up, it's kind of digging into the paper. It gets you a little bit thinner line. Honestly, it gets to the line I probably would have wanted with this uh, with this sort of pen. I would I prefer a medium of that size. Again, it's a type of pen that I probably would never have gotten myself, but it works pretty well. Uh, there's virtually no line variation. Uh, it's just all dependent on how quickly you make the stroke. Really. The tines don't spread out. It's a nail of a nib, which is really nice for sort of a modern fountain pen where people are more used to uh, to ballpoints or something like that. It does just uh, just go down uh, very nicely, so I like that quite a bit. It's a nice writer. It's very it's very well balanced like this. Uh, in in my hand, in most hands, I believe. Like I say, you can post it. Uh, the posting doesn't really put it that much off balance because most of the weight is here. It isn't one of those pens where you post it and it becomes really back heavy. It, it does get quite a bit heavier but again it's taken up or it's the weight is taken on your hand right here as opposed to uh, having that be the tipping point and having most of the the cap up here above it and uh, that just kind of puts strain on your hand. So it's very pleasant to white right with, very well designed. Uh, I really like the uh, cross smoothness and reliability. They are, are very reliable, very good. I like them a lot. So yeah, that's the Cross Bailey. A good pen, mid-range, not too expensive. Not exactly a starter pen, not a, a cheap pen, although it could be a charter starter pen if uh, you want to give it as a gift or if uh, you want to go for something slightly more expensive. It's really reliable. You just plug the cartridge in and you barely have to wait any time at all before you're writing. Really simple maintenance, uh, all that sort of stuff. Cross is a well-known brand, so it's a, it's a good one. I like it. And it's got this nice gift box in case you want to give it as a gift. So, you know, that's a bonus too. Bye.